Hey guys, what's up? Okay, um, yes, this is the new hair and you guys all seem to be loving it. It's a big change. Um, and to be honest, it's something I've been wanting to do for a really long time. I've had like this fucking picture of Bridget Bardot in like, I'm sure all, so many of us have, um, with these like bangs, um, in my phone forever. I just could never like take the plunge. Um, and then you guys remember I had like those kind of cur half ass curtain bangs for a while. And then I was just like, no, like, let's just fucking do it. Like no more like inching into it. Just fucking do it. I mean, I was worried that like, to be honest, I'm not, I was worried that my features like either bangs work for you or they don't. Like I, I think they do work for me. I thought my nose was too big to be honest for these. <laughs> like, I feel like you need to have like small features. Um, I don't know. What do you guys, I mean, I love it. I really do love it. I think it's cool. I'm not sure if it's like, I, I, the reason I like it too, it really does give off like a very strong signature look. Like, you know, this is not for like someone who can't, I don't know, who is not going to be committed. You know what I mean? Like you need to be committed to this. So it's fun. I like it. I don't know also, like, I can put, like, a black headband on, you know what I mean? Like, one of those, like, black headbands, and it's really easy to put back. So, it's not like I'm totally, like, stuck to bangs all the time. And I can just, like, do this and, like, kind of do, like, half and half. If, I, if, I, if I'm really annoyed by them, like, I can do that, even though, ew, like, I don't like that anymore. Like, I feel like, I, I kind of feel international. Like, I do feel, I'm trying to, like... <laughs> Like said that. I just feel sometimes I catch myself in the mirror and I'm like, hey, you look like really cool. You know what I mean? Like, I can't explain it. I really like it. And I think that like the my eyes and like, I just feel like my eyes and my cheeks and stuff. And like, I think it works. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So that's that. Um, and yeah. I've got so much going on as always and I just want to show you guys my hair. You guys have been like loving the hair. Um, and I don't know. It's a commitment. I'm not going to tell you to go do it. You know what I mean? Like I also think I need to get some shorter, like see how this is short. I don't think it's enough. I think I need, unfortunately, I think I need to have more cut like and layered more. What do you think? Like I think Bridget Bardot had like more, I don't know, but this is my first time styling my hair myself. Um, I had not washed it since I had it done. And so that was like, and it lasted so long. Um, so this is the first time me doing it like myself, myself, like fresh out of the shower. Um, and yeah, so I love it. I think it's really cool. It's a nice change. And I'm happy that it wasn't like a huge mistake. Like when she was cutting my hair, I was like, oh my God, like, I just didn't think I would like it honestly, <laughs> but I do. Um, so that's that. I have new pieces, you guys, and they are so fucking cool. This is my, um, what's it called? What do I call it? Crown um, choker. Look at it. It is so fucking pretty. It's sterling silver with gold dip. And then these are like big simulated rubies and diamonds, and there's five of them. And it just like sits here, or you can like angle it down. You can like put it, but I, it's so fucking regal, and it's really, really easy to wear. I love it. Um, this is my mom, ba mon, ba bo, it's like boyfriend in, um, French necklace. I love it. So I'm really into my line is kind of changing right now. I love this. I'm not using any gold, gold, gold tone right now. I'm using this like richer, more warm and dark tone gold. It's like more of like an 18k vintagey vibe that's just what i'm being drawn to right now i don't like the bright anymore right now it's just like i'm not feeling it um if there's little hints of it that's fine but i can't wear a whole thing of bright unless i mix it in so i'm doing it because you can eat you can mix in too like i do wear my bright things um but i mix in like this new gold tone i'm doing i'm just obsessed with it like all my designs are this like deeper gold tone and it's all etched it's really pretty 
I also have, you guys are loving the Rich Girl um, tears. And I, so I made a Rich Girl tear earring on like, I love this hoop. Um, we, these are the stacking hoops, the little ones. I love them. Um, and this is the Rich Girl tear. It's the tear of a rich girl. And I also have it in a necklace, but this is the earring. I love it. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys some more. I have some things to show you about like shoes. Um, I just wanna show you guys things and um, like, do you see how it just suits me? Like, I just kind of feel like, you know, people have like signature, sig signature, like, like the sleepy drip is pretty much my signature, right? I like wear all the time. Like, I feel like bangs are a signature look for someone. It's very Bridget, Bridget Bard Bardot, is it not? And if you can pull it off, you should. I don't know. Like, it's very mod 60s too, isn't it? Like, I thought my nose was too big for it. I really did. Like, I really thought my nose was too big for this. It kind of is, to be honest. I have to be careful, but it still works. But do you see how I can be self-aware? Okay, before I show, I wanna show you guys my new designs, but I wanna get into something first. <sighs> okay, so um, I started subscriptions on my um, Instagram and that's where you pay to like be a member basically. Um, so you can like see like more of like my life behind the scenes. Um, like family life, like me and my husband, like just more things. Like yesterday I showed like my my new vanity and like my new, I just show like more things. Cause I feel like the thing is that the rats will pay. I know they will. The rats, the first ones to pay, unfortunately, like they're that obsessed. So, um, I know they're there, but at the same time, I also know like the good ones who are really like are my friends are there as well. And I don't want to show like everything to people you know what I mean? To the whole world. So I feel like this is a little bit of a more of a way to like, just, you know, share more to the people I like, hopefully are there for good reasons. Anyway, I want to tell you guys what happened. So I started this subscription thing and then I started like a chat and I started a chat like with my, my subscription people and it was okay. So I'm not doing this to like, I'm just saying this, like I really want, like I'm still angry about it because you guys are like, there's no self-awareness. So I started this fucking, this chat. Anyone who's a member of subscriptions on Instagram knows that you can start like a private chat and like you can talk to like your subscribers and they can talk and it's like a group chat, okay? Dude, I fucking started this damn fucking chat and I like would check my Instagram periodically through the day and every motherfucking time I went on there, there was someone typing. Like it was, no one took a fucking break and it was egregious, okay? I'm a big Debbie Downer. Like I am, I know I am. I am a fucking, like I'm not a stick in the mud. I just do not like fun. That is the truth about me. Okay, there's one thing about me that's like, if someone like says, I just wanna have, I just wanna have fun. I just wanna have, like, I just really wanna, I just wanna have fun this weekend. It to me, I want to like, I want like, I want to like, I just can't. Like, I don't like fun. There's I, there's something about me, I don't like fun. I don't know what fun is. I don't like fun. I'm not a fun person. Um, I like productivity. I don't like fun. And so you can call me, like that's like going to a party or going out with friends or something like that. Like I could never do, would never do, will never do, Um, would rather die, okay? So the word fun pisses me off. So that's why I know I'm not a fun person. I'm fun in my own ways. I have a lot of fun. Are you kidding me? I do my, I have a very happy life. I love to like do like, like my, that's another thing I'm sharing on Insta, like my house, like whatever the progress of that. Okay. Anyway, I, there's so many things I do that are fun, but like my life is fun. I'm having fun all the time. Like my work is fun. My everything is fun. My animals are fun. My relationship is fun. Like what more fun do you need? What do you mean fun? Like what's fun? That's weird. I'm not two years old going to Disneyland. Like I don't get it. I don't like the word fun. I don't, it's weird to me. I don't like it. So anyway, so I know I'm not fun. So I thought, okay, Alex, like leave these people alone. Like they're just talking and having fun within themselves. But I was really, really annoyed. Like I wanted to shut the whole subscription down. Like 
why has this been hijacked by people who are being annoying, like talking amongst themselves? Like, this is not supposed to be something. Like, I was really not annoyed, and I was like, fuck, like, if I'm annoyed, are there other people out there who are annoyed too? Like, this is fucking annoying. Like, get this, stop, right? So I was working all day long, and so I wasn't like on Instagram, like totally. So when I got home, I noticed that the chat was still going and I was like seeing red. I'd had enough. So I was like, what the fuck? So I started yelling at people and my subscribers, yes, I did. Do you think, do you think that I am not going to call people out even if you're not a rat? Do you not have any self-awareness? Do not come on my subscription. Okay, that's it, you're in trouble. Now I'm pissed, okay? Because now I've reached my boiling point with talking about this. You're a dumb fuck. Okay, you're going to scuttle my subscription, aren't you? You're gonna scuttle my motherfucking subscription where you're going to irritate the, my subscribers to the fucking point where they're not gonna wanna subscribe anymore because you're annoying and you are so clueless, you don't know that you're very obnoxious, okay? Do it again, bitch, do it again and I'll block you. Don't come on my subscription and scuttle my subscriptions and be annoying to people that I like. Anyway, so, yeah, do you think I'm not only gonna yell at the rats? No, I won't yell at anyone who annoys me. I've had enough. Have some self-awareness, okay? Anyway, so, I was like, what the fuck are you guys doing? I like, yes, I did. I called them out on a video in my subscriptions and like regular Instagram wouldn't have seen this because you're not a subscriber, so you cannot see it, dumbass. Okay, no, don't come out with your stupid EBT cards. I try to pay with that. Get out of here. If you can't afford it, I don't care, okay? People are like, ow, but it's too much money. Do you think I care? Then don't be a subscriber and get the fuck off of my subscribe page, okay? Period. Like, I'm tired, tired of people trying to act dumb. I want to be a subscriber. I can't afford it. I don't care, okay? Get a job. Anyway. Um, no, we do not accept EBT cards here, bitch. Period. So... Um, I'm not joking. I'm sick of you. Okay. I'm sick of people irritating me. I've had enough. This was not supposed to be like this today. This was just supposed to be me showing you guys some shit that I fucking bought and telling you about my subscription page. Oh my God. Okay. So I'm not liking these bangs. I yell. They move too much. Okay. Anyway, so I got on there and I yelled. I was like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Like, you're going to, like, irritate the masses. Okay, this is what I did. I was like, okay, I don't know if I'm being, like, a Debbie Downer or something or if I'm being, like, unfun. But, like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, you guys are annoying. Why are you talking? How much can you fucking write and talk amongst yourselves all day long? Like, I'm not there, like, facilitating the conversation. What are you talking about with random people? This is not what this is for. Like I, I was like, if I'm irritated, I'm sure that other people are irritated, irritated too. And you're going to like, what's, I've already used the word scuttle, which is yes, but what's another word for that? Like you're going to ruin this where people are not going to subscribe because you're annoying me. You're annoying me. If you're annoying me, you're, you're annoying them. So I put that up. I said, just to stop. And I ended, I ended the chat. I removed the chat, like the conversation, whatever, the messaging log the little the chat, okay? And then people started writing me and they're like, Alex, like literally I was so annoyed with that that like I had to like remove the chat from my page. And I was like, oh my God, yeah. Like what the fuck is people's problem? Do you not know that you're annoying? Like how did you not know that? Did your fucking mother drop you on your motherfucking head? Like what is your problem? Like why do you not know this that you're annoying? This is the thing, put yourself into someone else's shoes, okay? You are being, you are writing, 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 constantly writing, constantly texting, constantly texting, 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 and some other people in that group are not, and they're receiving all of these messages in their inbox. Do you think that is A, annoying, or B, not annoying? Did you just pass the cat class or fail the class? Do you see what I mean? Like, you, how stupid are you? So anyway, there's no more of that. If I ever do a chat again, I'm going to end it immediately because you cannot be trusted. There are little rats with feces in their assholes who are scurrying around in the messages and like are just little rats and it's annoying and don't do it again. Do not fucking scuttle my damn subscriptions. Don't do it. I'm warning you. This is the last time I'm getting pissed because I'm very embarrassed. 
nothing I do is embarrassing. Everything I do is perfect. Yes, it is. And for you to come on my subscription and try to ruin my subscription and make it look dumb, you made me look foolish. You made my subscriptions look stupid and like not a vibe. That's what you did. And I literally thought I was like, Alex, you're just being like a Debbie Downer. Like leave them alone. Maybe they're having fun. Do you know what I mean? Enough. Enough. I've had enough and I'm done. Anyway, so yes, I am doing subscriptions. You guys should join and I'm doing like, like just different clips. Like I'm just doing clips of like, like I told you yesterday, I showed my vanity and like shit like that. I'm just showing more personal shit, like just stuff that I wouldn't normally share or like more in depth stuff or just more, more real shit. Like I'm very real, but like it's exhausting. Like, okay. Anyway, so I'm just doing that now. And then as like I progress with like IVF and stuff, I'll probably share more with subscriptions with that. Um, the house too, like. The expansion like things i buy um i'm just gonna share with that i'm gonna leave it for you guys um anyway so that's on instagram come here do you want to say hi okay me wants to say hi she wants to say hi oh my goodness i love her so much okay um anyway that's that that's the subscriptions so they don't worry like don't worry they've been told off so it's not gonna happen again like they're not gonna ruin it again. Like they're just not. I think that this, like I've already yelled at them and I'll like, I've yelled at them again. And they don't, I don't think they will do it again. Like I really don't. Like don't fucking dare ruin my shit. Like just, just so irritating. Ming, can you scoot over please? Okay. So, um, I want to show you guys just a couple more pieces that I did. This one, um, so this was my grand serpent and this one is still on promo right now. It is all solid sterling silver. Look at the head. I launched this has emerald eyes. Well, crystal emerald. Um, I launched this and it's um, a couple weeks, a week ago. And I think I had it for $20 off. It's still $20 off, but the promo price is going to end. And it just goes on like this. And we adjust it. So it just goes on like this. It's giving Bulgari, obviously. We love it. It's so cool. Um, and I like to put like some like more silver stuff on this because I have all the gold on here and I love it. But right now, because I'm wearing my, um, he loves me rosary. I like, I don't want to wear this with this. It's either this or it's this. So right now I'm wearing my, he loves me rosary. Um, but just warning, this is going to end as promo price. If you love it, it's really, really cool. So don't miss out on this. Um, and I just want to show you guys some other things that I did that I think you'll love. Um, okay, so it's this, um, let me see. This one's really cool, except I made it wrong. I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> okay, this is called the Chateau Multi-Way Chain. And it's two chains combined with a nice, oh, like a cool clasp. And I love this clasp closure and it's that deep gold I was telling you guys about. So what's funny is the clasp is a regular gold tone, but the chain is not. But because it's together and it's it it looks the same, it's so cool. Like I love this chain so much. I'm telling you, there's something about this new color chain that I'm using a lot that I'm just I absolutely love. It's really really rich. Okay, so um, this is the cross. Look at the cross, hand painted enamel with big CZ like simulated diamonds, and it's a very like vintagey more than vintage. It's more like like English royalty vibe, like crown jewel. Look how fucking gorgeous that is. Okay, also this cross comes off. It doesn't on this one because I fucking put it on the wrong place. Okay, when I was designing, I forgot. This is not gonna be on here. This is gonna be on the clasp. So you'll be able to take this off and you'll be able to wear this as like a really gorgeous necklace, like a cool chunky necklace and put this on a hoop earring, put this on another chain, like somewhere else, but it's really, really cool. Like it's such a good piece, like even on your ear, on a chain. And this is a, so a two in one. Um, so don't look at how it's designed right now because this is mine. I always get the fuck ups. Like it's annoying. Cause you know, like, I don't know. I always get the fucked up pieces cause I get the samples. Okay. So that's that, but you'll be able to take it off if you want. So really cool, cool two in one design. This one is called the coquette. Um, necklace. I love doing trios right now. And it's also on this really cool chain. This is a little bit of a matte chain. It's kind of matte glossy. I love it. It's I'm just, I'm just loving my line. Okay. And then the 
crosses are all pave and they have like a um, cathedral style to them. See how there's like very cathedral looking. So you can get one cross or you can get three crosses. Um, it's just so pretty. There's that. And then um, this is, okay, I love this so much. This is my maiden um, necklace, maiden choker. Look at this. Let me. This is a perfect example of the mix of really nice. I shouldn't be telling you guys my design tricks because people love to copy me, but I'm loving to mix in the bright gold, not bright, which is like standard, really pretty polished gold with this new color chain I'm using. It's such a fucking vibe. It's so pretty. Um, it's like, it's, I don't know. I can't explain it. It's like a mix of these. I can't explain it because I have no vocabulary. Okay. So it's like this big, thick braided chain and you guys can see how I wear it. And there's these three hearts. They remind me of Escada hearts. I love Escada like in the 80s and 90s um, with big CZ crystals inside um, hung from this chain. It's a really comfortable piece and it's a really flattering piece. So this is really gorgeous. Even with like a t-shirt, it's so sick. Like this is just a really a piece that is just really, really cool that I just love my pieces right now. Okay. Then you guys are going to love these. So, um, I have two options. I'll show you the silver and the gold. So here's the gold. These are my rain bracelets and it's all of course fucked up right now because it got caught. Okay. got caught. So anyway, here's my rain bracelet. It's a big, thick, chunky chain with three crosses on it and it's giving designer. I love it so much. It's all solid, okay? And it's like a charm style. You guys are loving this. So it comes in silver or gold like this with all gold, or you can get all, C all CZ crystal, or in silver, you can get the same way, you can get a mix. So this is what the mix would look like, where you get like one CZ, and two plain and then or you can get all CZ crystal and silver it's really a cool piece I love it okay those are the rain bracelets I just have a lot I have a lot I'll show you one more piece because it's just really fucking cool these are the inheritance charm necklaces I fucking love to make in I love to make charm necklaces with a really cool vintage vibe with like charms and pendants that look vintage or have something that's cool about them that's not like that's unusual you know it's not just like a little like a stupid like flower or something dumb like these look like it's been passed down they look regal they look really expensive this is on that same uh, it's not the same another chain color that i absolutely love it's that darker deeper chain and let me show you the two um so we have this one it's all cz detailed you can't see but it's really it's a really vintagey vibe. This is all solid sterling silver with a ruby or an emerald in the center, your choice. And it just looks like something that's been passed down. It looks so expensive. It just, it's sick. I love it. So that's the inheritance. I have a lot more. I have this too, the new treasure hoops. They're so pretty. I love them. They're like the rich girl misery. It's crosses with a real pearl. And then it's really pretty stocked with the uh, rich girl tear but I love this. And then the crystal will be a different color. That one's purple. Um, this one's pink, for example, like they're all different. And then you can buy these as singles, I think, cause I like to wear one of those sometimes. I have the new Rex cross, which is my new boyfriend cross. So boys out there, get this and then get this. It's solid stainless. It's really cool. It's so nice stack. This is like the best stack. And look at how neat this is. It's like thick and big and solid on that new color chain that I'm loving. It's kind of like an 18, but warmer. It's, I can't explain it, it's gorgeous, but perfect. This looks like you borrow your boyfriend's set. That's the point. Like this is called the boyfriend chain in, in French and the Rex means king. So it's just cool. It's just fucking sick, I love it. Um, I also have this bangle. I love this bangle. It's a new bangle and it's the kind that you slip on and it's like goes all the way up. I wanted one that you can like put all the way up. It's like this new, I know, don't look at my skin. It's disgusting. Um, that you can put all the way up or you can just like put all the way down. It fits basically all sizes, but I like to just push it. It's really cool. It's very like summery. Okay. I have a lot of stuff, but that's just some. Okay. Let's move on. Then I want to show you guys some shit that I bought. Um, just randomly. I know I don't really show you stuff I buy anymore because my 
videos have become like lists and I just think it's more fun that way because I don't know I'm sick of like the the show and tell bullshit I think I'm just kind of over it but I'm also kind of like wanting to do that again okay anyway what does it matter can I not just show you something okay so so I got these okay so this is my plan don't look at my bed I'm not gonna tell you guys about my bed because you're not on my subscription subscriptions no I don't care if you say this is ugly it's temporary and it's none of your fucking business okay so um I got these I got them in a size 41 and a half and 42 because they run small. I'm usually like a 40. My plan is just to like wear them with everything. My legs are not the skinniest right now. So it's kind of like not the best. To be honest, I should not buy these right now because I'm not the skinniest. And they make my feet look like little deer hooves, even though they're big. Like I got them so they're not like tiny. But I want to wear them with just like Brandy Melville shorts with boxer shorts and like a big t-shirt, just like super casual. But then you throw on, you know, a pair of thousand dollar shoes and you know what I mean? Like wear garbage, wear absolute garbage and then just throw these on. That's the vibe. You know what I mean? Like that's what I'm wearing. Do you know what I mean? Like a pair of blue boxer shorts for men. And then like a big oversized like shirt or something or like a tank top with them. And then you just throw these on. So it just looks like, and I hate when people do this. Don't do that anymore. Stop it. It's so fucking lame. It's so, I think I'm getting that from TikTok. Ugh, so gross. Okay. So, um, I got these and yeah, I like them. They went up in price. These used to be like, I think they used to be like under 800. They're now like 925. It's insane. And it's just so bad. Like, it's just, I'm so sick of everything. I don't, I'm, not, I'm just not buying anything anymore. It's just like, the prices are just stupid. Like, I'm over it, dude. I'm fucking so fucking over it. Like, not, oh, it's better. Um, It's like, I, this went away and came back. I don't know. Anyway, so those, let me get them back. Those headphones. Okay, so uh, to be honest, I cheaped out because they're, I'm not going to wear them anywhere. Like, so I didn't get the Apple ones. Do you guys, are the Apple ones significantly better as far as quality, sound wise? Do you have any idea? I don't know. I think I'm gonna go, have to go try them out because if they are better, I'm gonna return them or exchange them. These, the problem is I'm deaf. You guys know I'm deaf in one ear. So I only get half of the sound. I, I don't get stereo. I, 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 I hear music, I think differently than you guys do. I don't, I forget what it is, but um, and yeah, so, are these shit? Cause I don't feel like they're great. I don't feel like they're loud enough. Like, I guess they're fine, but I think it's because, see headphones are never good for me because I don't get the whole effect. But um, they need to make like headphones for like people who have one ear like me so that I can get all the music sound in just my right ear. Where's my fucking brush? Take notes, I'm feeling generous. All right, I bought this. Um, it's the best thing ever. It's the best fucking thing ever. Okay, go get this. Physician's Formula Butter Glow Bronze. Just go get it and use it as like a foundation, basically. It's dark, but it's so nice and it's not thick. I don't like to wear foundation really. It like doesn't lay right on me. This is like almost a gel cream or something. I really, really love it. Um, go get this. Then I got these and please correct me if I'm wrong. How shit are these? These are shit, are they not? This is the ba Bala Bands, this, okay. These do not stay. Like, they don't stay on my fucking arms. I don't get it, like, they move. Like, they're supposed to fucking stay. I'm, dude, I'm just gonna get the weights and hold my fucking hands. I need to return this shit. They're just, they just suck. Like, look at this. Like, they just, look at this. They're already on my hand. Like, what am I supposed to do? Is this a fucking joke? Like, uh, these are supposed to be secure. What is, what the fuck is this? Dude, like, I hate this kind of shit. Also, I've had them for literally two days. Look at the way they're already like kind of affected. It looks like I've had them forever. Dude, I'm returning these, like now. I'm just, I'm just sick of bad shit, okay? I'm sick of you. I'm just, just get it out of my face. I don't want bad shit in my presence. It's just like, to be honest, it fucking pisses me off. The lighting is better down here. Okay. Then I went to the swap meet and I showed you guys these on my Insta. 
but I wanted to show you them more in depth because it bothers me when people act like they have things and they don't have things. They're knockoffs, they're bullshit. They're not the real thing. You can go out and get them if you want. Whatever, you can go out and get like the fake ones if you want. I don't care, but don't try to act like it's the real thing. It's not. I know my hands are horrible. I fucked up, okay? I know. You don't have to point. You think I'm stupid like you who comes on my fucking subscription and acts like a fucking jackass, a little fucking jackal? No, okay. Embarrassing. Don't don't humiliate. Thing is that you're making a bad name for me when you act like that in my uh, amongst amongst us. Okay, it's rude and it's dumb. Don't do it again. Okay, don't do it again. Anyway, um, do. So okay, I when I go to the swap meet, there's like I go enough and I've been going for long enough, like that I know the vendors, right? Like I know which vendors to go to. I know who are like reputable. I know who are not. Like it's not like I know who are not. It's like there's junk and there's not junk. And there's like really cool shit. And when I go, I look for really cool shit. I'll show you guys what else I got. So, um, and I'm not looking for junk. You guys know, I have this thing where if I'm gonna bring something in my house, it's gonna be like really nice quality. I'm gonna enjoy it. Like it's gonna be the real deal. Like I don't want any. I don't want bullshit. Like I do, I like to enjoy things. I would rather have one nice cup. I told you than fifty uh, fifty shit cups. I'd rather eat off of paper plates until I find the perfect plate. That's just how I am. I've always I've been wanting this jadeite stuff for a while. I've been wanting these. Okay, for a while. But I just didn't really know much about them. I didn't want. Everywhere you can buy them anywhere. You can buy them like at Target. Okay, you can buy them anywhere. But there's real ones and there's knockoffs. There's also like old real ones, and then there's also ones that are like are legit. They're like used to shit, right? Okay, so these are legit. These are Fire King. Um, and they're restaurant quality. So these were used like in the 40s, I think. Was it 40s? Okay, whatever. Um, in restaurants and usually with that kind of thing, they're like scraped up to shit, right? Like they're really bad. These are not one plate is not so good. It's really good, but this is like excellent. This is like never used basically, um, with original fire King and they're not cheap. Okay. Like they're not super expensive, but they're not cheap and they're just, they just are what they are. So you can, I'm not saying like, I'm not going to like be like, Oh, you're an idiot. If you get like fake ones or whatever, I don't care. I'm just telling you, these are not that, okay? Don't come and think that I'm high, don't have real like Jade at Fire King, like you're stupid, okay? And don't act like you have the same ones because you don't unless they are, okay? I'm sick of your shit. I don't like people who try to act like that's that. I will call you out, it's dumb. Like, I don't like that. It's very like, either you, either you get it or you don't. Like, that's just the truth, I'm sick of it, okay? It's just, I have to, like, I, I just don't. Okay, so I also got these. I showed you them. I got a pair. These are real Art Deco um, sconces. And I'm expanding the house, as you know. So I'm kind of like just collecting things. I don't know where to put these now. Um, but if I really love something, I love Art Deco. I fucking love Art Deco so much. This is, this is not, okay. Art Deco is not Hacienda, but this green very the green goes i love art deco i'm kind of person yes this is like french country hacienda we know that like that's the vibe of this house and thank god that's what i love because i can do it and i, I but i'm also not gonna not buy something if i absolutely love it like i don't care if it really goes or not these go it's not i'm talking other things like i think i'm more of the philosophy where like if i love it it will go i will make it work like i always do i just do anyway so i love these so much i'm not sure where i'm gonna put them they have pulls they're in really excellent condition and they're originals they're really cool just you guys know how, how into like history i am and like the thought of the of where this was originally and now i have it and it's just i love it it's just i don't know it's something i'm just really into okay i always have been <sighs> it pisses me off okay i also got these i got a pair of these um, these are like Norwegian, I think glass, Finnish glass, um, vintage. And I have a couple of them. Um, I have like mini ones and I have tall ones. I don't have this size. She also had bowls, which were sick, but she was like total fucking bitch. This lady at the, the fuck you. Like I almost walked away with my mom. Like 
was there. My mom like thought I really want, I was gonna walk away and give her attitude because she was very rude, but I, we ended up making a deal. Anyway, where the fuck is the dog? Okay, come inside, Yummy. Come inside, no, come inside. You don't boss me around. You're not the boss. Okay. Um. Then I wanna admit something to you guys. Like, okay, I just have to admit something to you guys. It's so wild. Like, I don't know who the fuck I am anymore, but it's the truth, okay. I am like, I love working out. Like, I love this workout routine I have. I've been doing it for like seven, eight days now. I do not leave the house until I do my workout. I love it that much. It's become a thing. Like, I'm excited for it. I have like my music on that I love. I work out in my underwear so I can judge the fuck out of myself. Yes, I do. Okay, no. Like, I have a sports bra and like I do wear like a boyfriend short or you know, whatever, like a tight boyfriend short. I, I posted it on Insta, you saw. So that's what I wear. So yes, like I will, I don't know. I just like it. I like to just work out like that. That's what I like to do. I always have done that. Okay. Um, I'm sweating balls. I feel like I love that workout feel afterwards. I don't know who I am, but I am. Okay. So I'm also on this thing where, okay, I'm trying to do everything I can to have at least one of these fucking embryos stick. Like, I just want, you guys, I can't do this anymore. I've waited too long. I really think, Thule, that, like, it's my time, right? Like, I don't want to say that, because who the fuck am I? Like, oh, you. Do you remember? Like, oh, you again. I know you. Oh, yeah, you bitch. Okay. So, we know how I get scared of him. Like, I'm very scared of him. Anyway, so, I, um, I'm trying to do whatever I can, right, to, like, make this stick. And I don't really believe any of it. Like, I swear to God, I don't really <laughs> believe any of it. I believe a lot of it just has to do with, yeah, like your, your uterine lining and like, I don't have any cysts or anything like that. It's not like that. It, it's just like, it's God. It's like, it's whether or not the, that the doctor can like implant the embryo correctly. And then if God, it's like, and then it's like your, your body and God. Okay. Like that's what it is. But like, I've also been doing, I'm not, I'm not going to just not, I'm not going to do the least. I'm going to like behave like I'm not drinking. Okay. Like I'm not drinking. And, um, like, I'm not, I, you guys, you're smoking too, aren't you? No, I'm not smoking, you stupid piece of shit. I'm not smoking. And if I have a cigarette, I don't inhale. So shut the fuck up. It's not that. You guys are dumb. If I was to take a nicotine test, I would have nothing in me because I don't inhale. Do you not get that I don't inhale? Just shut up. I don't need your fucking rat ass to tell me anything you fuck. Okay, so shut up. You're stupid and you're good at two shoes, little shit. Okay? Because guess what? People fucking smoked all through their fucking pregnancies in the fucking 50s. I'm not going to, but they did. Okay? The kids are fine. But I'm not. And I'm like, you're smoking. It's just you're smoking. You're smoking. I'm like, dude, you're so annoying. Get the fuck out of here. So, I also saw from this doctor that, like, you need to be eating, like, dates. And like Brazil nuts and walnuts and beets. And like pomegranate juice, which I'm not doing. And the pineapple on the day of. It's mumbo jumbo. It is. This is all mumbo jumbo to me. It's God. Like God will decide. But at the same time, I'm going to do what I can. So I bought Brazil nuts. I hate nuts. I love them because I can eat anything. I, anything that's fattening, Alexandra loves. I love anything that is very high in calories. My body is like, oh, is that 12,000 calories but tastes like shit? I love it. Like, that's what I do. That's what my body does. Like, Brazil nuts taste like shit, right? They're not even taste good. I think they're delicious. Like, I really do. That's why I don't have any nuts around me because I'm a fat pig where I will eat, okay? Anyway, this is a thing, you guys. <gasps> I literally am so healthy. Like, I cannot even tell you. I'm like, I'm very skinny right now, Matt, but like, I'm very skinny life because I have like three Brazil nuts and a little handful of all nuts, walnuts and one date and I am stuffed. I cannot even think about food for the rest of the day until dinner. That I do usually, I don't have a problem with this. Like, I think I'm growing up. Like, I think I'm like mentally, I think I'm like, my, I've been touched. You guys know, I told you I'm retarded. Like, I know I have a slight retardation. I get it. Like, I'm not, everyone's either a little bit ugly or a little bit retarded. We know that. I am both. I'm not perfect. Like, no one is. Everyone's a little bit retarded. I know I am. I think I'm growing up where, like, 
or like my body is growing up where like it's like you okay you're fine you're full but like i don't understand how come these okay i get so fucking full from brazil nuts like three of them because they're so fattening but i have like couple like i don't have three at a time i have like two and like a couple all like walnuts and like dude i'm like full it's it's great so i started doing that because like this ivf doctor on tiktok said that you should be eating that shit so I was like, okay, dude, whatever I need to be doing, whatever you think I should be doing. Oh, coconut water too. I've been saying like super hydrated, like blah, blah, blah. So I've been doing like coconut water and water, like half coconut water and water and drinking a lot of water. So I'm really trying, like beauty, I am trying. I'm not being a bitch. Like I'm not like going out and like partying or like not like I'm taking all my fucking medication. I'm going to have to put a fucking, I'm going to have to put a pill up my vagina for like five days. Like, I don't know. This is, this is, I'm irate about it. Like, it's a joke. I swear to God, these doctors are laughing their asses off. You probably don't, I probably don't even need to do it. They're just like, they're just like, oh my God. Like, like, let's just like make this as disgusting as possible as we can for these patients. Like, just because we want to act important. I've also been making like pioneer desserts. I'm really into like, you guys know I love history, but I'm really, I really love certain american history aspects and i love english history i'm like those are my two histories i love but i also really love homes like the homesteading thing like pioneer time like i don't know okay so i made this like pioneer honey cake and i it was so cool because i was trying to look for a very simple recipe like i've been making scones lately and i love the ingredients like i don't like because for me mostly it's for like calories i don't like to use oil I know people don't like oil because like seed oil or whatever. Yeah, I don't, if, it, if it's bad for you, I don't really want to use it. But m for me more, it's because there's so many calories in oil. Like, why do I have to use that? It's gross. Like, you know, so doing these like um, pioneer recipes, it's like real, re it's like real stuff. It's like honey, milk, flour, some spice, like, it's like cinnamon. I forget what else. Eggs, like real shit, dude, like real shit. It ended up so good. The only reason I didn't like it is because it said called for lemon lemon zest. And I don't think I like the lemon zest mixed with the honey. So I actually didn't love them. Um, but I'm gonna remake it with just honey and no lemon zest. And I just like I just love to reminisce the past, like where we came from. Like it's just interesting. Like, like I don't know. It's I like doing that kind of stuff. And it's real food. It's cool. It's like, I don't know. I'm the same thing with like this orzo. It was like, it's real. There's no like spaghetti sauce or like canned tomatoes. Like, I don't know. I'm more into like trying things that like are real and whole and like date back. That's like my vibe right now. Well, it's always kind of been my vibe. You guys know I love like his historical shit. Anyway, that's it. That's enough. Um, I don't know. This is the hair. I need to learn how to style it more, I think. Okay, bye.